add a call menu or IVR to an inbound DID or inbound group. If you want to use a call menu, also known as an IVR or interactive voice response, to give callers choices as to where their calls should be directed, then you can use VG Dial's call menu to offer choices to the callers and route their calls as well as track those calls. As an example, in today's tutorial, we're going to create a call menu that allows callers to go to a sales, customer support, or billing queue. Let's get into it. First things first, on the left, we are going to select inbound. And then we are going to select show call menus on the left. And as you can see, I've created quite a few uh, call menus here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Or on second thought, I'm going to copy an existing one. And I'm going to use welcome menu as a source. And we will go ahead and call it test call menu. Remember to make that ID database friendly, no spaces, no punctuation, and hit submit. And there we go with our new call menu. First things first, we're going to choose an audio prompt. And uh, that would be this here. Uh, we can also optionally add a timeout prompt and an invalid prompt if they, in the event that they either don't press anything for an extended amount of time, the default is 10, or if they press an invalid key. So if we have options 1, 2, and 3, and they press 4, we can tell them, hey, that's an invalid entry. Try again. We can have them try again a couple times, or we can just terminate it. Uh, typically, I prefer to terminate the call. Um, for billing purposes, of course. So let's go ahead and set our options. Option one, the destination will be in-group. And our in-group will be sales. I'll just say in the description, go to sales. Two, It's going to go to another in group, and that in group will be technical support. And yes, I know it says test, test, but we're going to, for the sake of this tutorial, call it tech support. Option three is going to go to a third in group. And that will be our billing department. All right. To set a destination for invalid entries, in the drop down here, your option drop down, select invalid, and then send it to a destination. In this example, I'm going to set it to hang up the call uh, so that we don't have calls lingering in the system. Uh, sometimes you have uh, situations where someone has a robo dialer going into your IVR and they're just uh, inputting uh, frivolous entries and a lot of them will be invalid. So this will prevent your uh, system from being hacked and incurring bills. Uh, that's all that does. And for timeout, we select timeout. And then once again, in my situation, I'm going to set it to hang up. And uh, there we go. And uh, basically what I'll do is I'll set it to say goodbye or something when they do it. So if, they, if they're just lingering in, so sometimes, they'll, sometimes the same robocalls that do the frivolous uh, dialing, they'll also just linger in sometimes for hours on end if you don't have a properly set call menu or route or phone number. They'll just linger for hours and, hour, and hours causing you to incur massive phone bills. This is, this is just to prevent that from happening. So we have our invalid and our timeout options. So basically if we press nothing, it hangs up. 
if they put something in that is not one, two, or three, they'll hang up. All right, and we are gonna go ahead and scroll to the bottom and hit submit. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and set the, uh, the call time to nine and I'll hit submit again. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to show DIDs and we're going to assign a number to this call menu. So when they call inbound, they get the call menu. So copy DID, use our known working number as a source, and we're going to assign this a number. So this is the number to my customer service department here. And we'll, we, will, uh, we will delineate it as such. And we have our new uh, DID here that will take inbound calls. The way we send it to the call menu is we set the DID route to call menu. And in the call menu drop down, we select our new call menu here. And when they call in, they will get the call menu that says, hey, thank you for calling customer service. For sales, press one. For tech support, press two. For billing, press three. And we'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and hit submit. So uh, please note that it might take up to a minute after you hit submit for your changes to go into effect for this call menu. And that is how you set up call menus in your free voice dialer.